your intention is. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm so slow to do that. But I think that it seems that there's some holes in the ideas and ideologies that govern what you consider to be safety. And it doesn't seem as if there's an easy solution to it in this institution. You know what? There's always a solution to every problem. Well, I, you just have to look hard enough. I, I do, and we have yeah. to advocate for improvement from everybody, Absolutely. for everybody. <clears throat> On the other hand, this is... I believe there's a systematic problem here, which is there seems to be understaffing. And so the people who would mean well don't have enough time to do everything they need to do. I could be wrong, but that's my okay. observation. All right, thank you for verbalizing it to me about that one, but however, we are not here for short staffing discussion. But that's the problem. <clears throat> but that's okay. Let's yeah. go on to the we next do. point. Okay. I think we're here, um, and we still got the message kids here. Maybe we can um, um, sort of look at it. I think we're here to get an idea of what um, the tenants of your particular diet are. Mm -hmm. And um, I've done some research, Good. and I want to make sure that I have it correct, because if we work with the appropriate tenants, then we can come up with a solution. Yes. So according to my research, and this is a very brief synopsis, yes. the Western Price Diet includes eating whole foods and unprocessed foods. Yes. Is that correct? Okay, great. Okay. It includes eating beef, lamb, game, organ meats, poultry, and eggs from pasture-fed animals. Is that correct? Well, that's their way. We're a little well, more specific than that. We who? My, our religion. What's your religion? It says we have to eat animals that have eaten green grass, okay. rapidly growing mm -hmm. green grass. But then that's not the Western price. Well, as I said in my letter, that is a basic okay. diet that you can let's, follow that tends to be what we like what is your there's some again? well it's a paragraph long name but the name okay. of the church is Enyo's church simple Enyo's. and it has a much longer name uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay all right so do you want to okay all right so so the difference here is that it has to be green grass yeah according to you according okay. to our religion according to your religion which i will need actually yeah well i okay. have it yeah no i'm going to ask you for that okay why uh, eat wild fish, not farm-raised fish, yeah. eggs, shellfish, and un from unpolluted waters? Yeah, and yet I'd correct? seldom eat fish because it has mercury poisoning okay, in it. That's, that, that's a new issue since he died. <laughs> okay. Um, Full-fat milk products from pasture-fed cows, preferably raw and ferment fermented, right. such as raw milk, whole yogurt, kefir, cultured butter, yeah. full-fat. Okay. Animal fat, such as the fats, um, such as tallow, lard, egg yolks, cream, and butter, liberally. If they come from green grass-fed animals okay. in the equator. Okay. Traditional oils, extra virgin olive oil, express sesame, uh, coconut oil, palm oil, palm kernel oil. Yes? Yes, generally okay. speaking, although... Well, I prefer not to. Yes, but okay, there's some adjustments. Yeah, and I do yes. understand that it's very okay. difficult you to meet to my diet. You understand that that we, you know, are we've <laughs> done all of we've done uh, I've done all of the research, and I want to understand what it is and how it is that we can make your diet reasonable for you uh, within the confines of basically our, um, you know, within the confines of, of the what you label. So, so allow me first. Mm -hmm. yes. Hi, Doc. Yes. Allow me first to Hello. to understand the tenants as yes. you understand them. Okay. Yes. Cod liver oil. Uh, Fermented and, cod liver. Huh? Fermented cod liver. Fermented. Oil. Okay. Do you have another copy? Can you just give I me a copy? Just yeah. Just yeah. The Good. Copy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Yeah. But this is really okay. All right. Yes, this I've seen this right. before. This is very yeah, that's very positive. Okay, first of all, thank you for coming. And as you said, as as our conversation yesterday, yeah. I said what I wanted to do was to get everybody together Good. to have better communication so we can resolve.
yeah. as much as we can resolve. That said, resolving means we both have to give a little bit. Absolutely. Okay, so we brought, I, I have to apologize, I don't know who everybody is, so call Oh, we're going to do the yeah, social work. Denise Marcel, social work. Nice to meet you. Hi, Charlie from nursing. Yes, I don't know. Victoria, director of nursing. Hello. Marie Leonard, RD. Okay. I'm Rachel Pollock, I manage clinical nutrition. Thank you very much. So, what I was hoping was that you could, and I'm sorry it was already started. Yeah. Give us some of the problems, or some of the, not the problems, some of your concerns. Yeah. And so that we can make a decision and so that we can f see how we can best yeah. help you. And then what we need to do is we need to kind of, from your perspective, see what, 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 what you feel comfortable doing, what we feel is necessary. Yeah. Because I spoke to Dr. Nemendorf, the yeah. medical doctor, Dr. we told oh, us yesterday. Good. He unfortunately can't make this meeting, but I, I spoke to him earlier yeah. today. And he was telling me that from a medical perspective, your legs are doing considerably better than when they first came in, and that you're doing much, much better right. yeah. physically. Yeah. So yeah. clearly something good is happening here. I know there's some issues, but clearly something on, on a very positive is much, you're much better than when you first came in. Yes. So at least, at least we understand that. So again, what, what is it? What are the things that you have concerns about that you would like us to see if we can address? Well, I realize that you can address most of them, but we can address a few of them. And I realize that I have to, I can't demand all my rights because you can't meet them. Right. I understand that. So I'm trying, I've been trying within the rules that I've been given to figure out ways to get close to my diet and stick to it. Mm -hmm. And it was sort of working, but all, but it, I don't use phytic acid. I keep it out of my diet. Okay. That's in the whole story. Mm -hmm. But everything that you have here has phytic acid in it. Yeah, I, didn't know. Okay. So I know, but that's a problem. And so I'm e what's happening to me is I'm eating the foods I wouldn't eat, I don't want to eat, because I don't have a lot of choice. And, and it's another issue what because... What foods have phytic acid in it? Every, every seed, I'm not even sure every seed has a natural ingredient in it called phytic acid okay. that prevents the human body from being able to absorb and use the minerals that are in that seed. Okay, it's I a part it. of nature. I'm listening. I'm just looking it up. And I don't either I don't eat anything that has seeds or comes from seeds, or I try to mitigate it. There's ways to to be, to deal with it that you couldn't possibly do here, except if I did it myself. You know, I, I would never eat oatmeal unless I soaked it for a day in advance in a solution okay, that would so break I the know. phytic acid. So I, I it's wouldn't a... eat oatmeal unless I could prepare it in a way that would break most of the phytic acid and remove it from the diet. It's a plant, it's, it's, a, it's a plant enzyme mm -hmm. which the plants use to store phosphorus so that when it found sprouts, mostly in grains and yeah. cereals. I, I, it's very. It's much simpler than that. Okay, There's so four minerals that okay, the plant so needs to when it grows, understood. and they're in that seed. Understood. So, but what can we do? So, do you have a list of, of 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 foods that have that that we can maybe work around if possible? Well, it's real simple. I don't eat anything, any breads, any grains, any seeds, anything from seeds. Okay. That solves it real fast. So, and that's the best you, way to do it. So, essentially, if you go on the Atkins diet, we're okay. No, Not because there's, yeah, you know what I mean. No, you yeah, cut the yeah. carbs, cut the breads, cut well, them as much as you can. Yeah. See, it's, I understand what is important to eat and what's important not to eat. And I'm trying to do that. And it is my religion, fortunately. How much leeway do we have? But, I, I but mean, you know. What I would need, basically, is foods that he would like to eat and let me, allow me to see how I can fit it in. Yeah. Because you and I have had numerous conversations and I have adjusted your diet to include yogurt, which... Which I wouldn't prefer to have, but I it, it's just... Well, it, Oatmeal, yeah. which we had the discussion, and you said you wanted it. Corn flakes, so, no, frosted flakes, which I absolutely do not understand how it fits It doesn't diet. fit in at all, oh, okay. all right? Okay. But I'm trying so, to make so some minor adjustments that, to okay. get by. Unfortunately, I had lost weight and now I'm gaining it. Well, and that's not good. You've gained 12 that's percent. not good. Well, not necessarily. Well, you might no, have lost weight because no. you were ill and you had an yeah. infection, too. Right. But again, well, what I'm hearing yeah. from the new, from new, new nutrition is yeah. Yeah. they're willing to work with you, give us a list, find things. You can't say no to everything. You know, you can't say, of well, course. No, I don't want you. No, well, I don't want yogurt. I'm, no, I don't want that. But that's not give and take. I understand that. Right. What I. 
the way I have addressed this is finding out what the rules are supposedly about the refrigerator, trying to go to the store and get the few things that I would eat, that I would like to eat, so that if I can't eat what's here, if I don't want to, I can eat those few things. And it's a plan to have me lose weight. And th I, it's too much to say, but I eat certain types of salamis and cheeses because they have things in them that I believe help me to heal. Okay. Is that possible? I mean, I, I'm forgiving for, 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 for not knowing the rules. Yeah, are the patients, are, 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 are the residents allowed to bring food in the store for their own uses? I, I don't I don't know how that works. They can store it for up to 72 hours. Or, or the up to the 72 yeah. hours in the pantry room, dated, labeled, and has to be thrown within 72 hours. Yeah. The problem right now is he occupies the entire refrigerator. Right. He keeps on labeling and relabeling. Well, okay. The food. Well, the thing is, so you understand that if we allow you that, you know, not that, that when you not, if we allow that, period, that when you leave, I understand you're leaving today. And I'm going bring, home to bring some stuff home. And you bring food back. I'm not going to bring it. Well, uh, let me, let me yeah. I understand and that. And when you think, whether today or whatever, you can't bring large amounts, no. and you can only keep and you have to use it within 72 hours. Yeah. And that's only because we have so many other patients. So do you think that you could do that? As well, opposed first to labeling I, it and relabeling First it I want to say that her statement is no. inaccurate and incorrect, In what and way? I have evidence no. to prove otherwise. No. Secondly, the I want to say the that... The nurse told you what the policy of the floor is, that you can keep your food there, but up to 72 hours. So what I'm saying is, when you bring food back... I'm not going to bring any food back. Okay. Okay. All right. Because we're not getting anywhere. I'm getting the feeling that I'm we're not getting anywhere. I'm trying to get anywhere. the food they gave me yesterday that was all frozen, so today I could take it safely to my apartment. But now it is all unfrozen because they left it in my room okay. overnight. There's no, the, 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 there's no sanity to what's happening. What happened is that he collects and holds. I understand. No, no. I understand. I, no, I was told that he The it. problem is he bring it to his apartment. Yeah. We're, we're, right we're going to one, one thing at a time. We're going to get to no, the problem. No, I will tell you why. If, if he brings it to his apartment, it's got no electricity. It's got no. I understand. It. But can we do one thing at a of time? Because we're, we're getting to that next. We're getting to that. Yes. So, and the nurse has a very has and the nurse. I have electricity. Okay. I have a refrigerator. Um, it's yeah, not true. All right. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to get to the apartment? We've been told from Adult Protective Service that the apartment has no water and has no electricity. Well, that's not accurate. Well, I can only believe with what they say, okay? I well, believe... then you believing something that's not true, okay, then and how, your okay, then whole I... meeting is based on uh, untruth. Well, is it, well then, then my question to you is why would the why would Adult Protective Service lie to us? Well, they're not lying to you. Sure, they no, they no, don't they know, know what's... Right. The... Yes, they are. You're telling us that they're telling us an untruth. As far as I know, it's very simple. That's a lie. We don't want, and then you have to say. I have know, electricity in my apartment. I have a refrigerator. Told, we're being told that they haven't finished cleaning the apartment and that there's no water and that there's well, no Well, your information is not accurate. Okay. Again, we go back to my same question. Why would Adult Protective Service allow that? Because from what I'm being told, is that you're not even supposed to be going back to the apartment, right? Because it hasn't been cleared no to go back. I'm, he can go on visits, I'm, and I mean, he, he can go on out of hospital passes, right. yes. but he's not supposed to go back because Adult Protective Service hasn't, hasn't, hasn't cleared the apartment as to go back yet, as, well, as, as to being habitable. But they're not the ones who will do that. Actually, yes, they are. So I'm telling you that your understanding is inaccurate, is okay. not accurate. Okay. And I'm telling you that there's more things in play so here than that. Get, so if we were to get Adult Protective Service Adult to, Protective to Services is what? not the body that inspects the apartment to decide if it's Who safe does? for me to go back. Well, why are you asking her when she has no idea the answer? Because I know the answer, and you're not asking okay. me. Actually, oh, yeah. because they have been, social workers do know that answer. All right, who's the person? Um, I spoke to Antoinette. Yeah, well, Ant yeah, her. She, she's just the health care proxy of you, and she told me she went to the apartment has no heat, no running water. Heat is an issue. There is heat, but there's not no heat. Heat is an issue. Okay. But that's so the main issue. She said, she said she's working with the landlord, and she's going to follow up with the landlord to see when the heat okay. is back. Okay. So let's take it back to what we can do. Can we agree that if and when you bring food back, you cannot bring large amounts, and you can only keep it, and, you, and it has to be a manageable amount that every 72 hours you have, to, you, have, you have to turn it over. And secondly, when you go on the passes, until told otherwise, 
okay, buy your health, buy your, buy your proxy, you cannot go back to the apartment. I'm going to the apartment to clean it up, to get it ready, so it can pass the inspection so I can go permanently home. Well, Do you understand that? And I had been doing that daily until a month, a week ago when I got sick and I didn't go out to, to keep myself healthy. And now I would rather have gone tomorrow, but because they gave me all this stuff yesterday and it needs to go right. in the so, well, I got to go today. So let's reach a compromise. You can yes. go today because we need to clarify this. Yes. But can we make, a, make an attempt to clarify, maybe even in writing, so that you can have something in writing from the health proxy or from the that in the future when he leaves, does he have the, uh, until the apartment is clean for him to go back, should he be going back? This or, has already been settled. Or, or not. Because Did we settled no, this a month ago. Right. I'm hearing no, you shouldn't. You're hearing yes, Yeah, well, you you're should. not hearing what they're saying. What am I not hearing? There's one difference between the apartment being inhabitable and for it being possible for me to go there to finish straightening it out That's a valid and getting point. it in order so it okay. can be habitable. That's a very valid Some point. Some of that I have to do. Okay, Richard, and I'm doing You're it. right. That's a very valid point. So we do need to clarify that point. And okay, should he be going back to the apartment at all? Okay? But, so we're going to allow it for today. And tomorrow. But, no, in, but no. okay, I have it set up for tomorrow. She has been going to the apartment practically right. on a daily okay. basis and nothing has happened. Okay, but, we, That's okay, but what, what, what I'm saying... So why don't we verify first if the apartment is, is safe for him to come back in? Okay, but so that we can't do the visit for so we can't no, do the visit today? No, Because if he goes today, he's going to want to go there to bring the food there. Yeah, I am already he, ready to go there. Okay. I'm going to leave at 11.57 okay. to go there. Yeah, you're not... Wait, wait, because this is, this is degrading into an argument which is... Yeah. These are unnecessary nowhere. issues. Yes, They've been exactly. resolved, and you're raising them again a month later. The only trouble with me going home is the weather mm -hmm. and whether I can go safely and come back safely, and I can do that. Yeah. And I'm getting the job done there, and it's going to take me a few days okay. going there to do it. Well, there is, okay, so In the right. meantime, that lets me know what they're doing as far as the heat and other right. issues. There are lots of issues I'm dealing with. Okay, now, are you dealing with it or, okay. Because, I'm okay. dealing with them. All right. Because, because otherwise they don't get resolved. Because right now, what I'm hearing is that we're having we're, we're, uh, two sets of differing understandings regarding what is, regarding what's, what's possible. Or not. That is a valid, you raise a valid point of you may need to go back to the apartment to do things, but if that's the case, then your healthcare proxy or, or your, your whatever the proxy she is needs to be there. Because I've done that in the past. Excuse me. Okay. Beware. At the apartment? At the apartment. Well, yeah. that's absurd. She, there's absolutely no way she can be there. I want to remove her as my health care proxy. Okay. She's not able to All do right. what so, you okay. think she can do. So again, Richard, as, and you're okay, making... Okay, I've been, no, excuse me. As I, as I bring things up, you're adding more and more and Let, more. Let's options. back up a minute. Right. So, I've gone there 15 right. days so, and done this already. All right. 15 days. All right. Thank you very much. Now, why can't I continue okay. to as do it? As far as I'm concerned, this meeting's over. Why? Okay. Yeah. As far as so I'm concerned, this meeting's over. Go, can't, can't, go go can't go today. Can't go today. We cannot go out. Can't no go more out on pass. Well, no excuse me. There are some problems you're oh. not addressing. That are the problem. Yes. Okay. A couple things. I think he needs to go. Okay, so we can discuss what we need to do because it's just going to become more and more, more and more, more and more. more, more I'm not argumentative. You're not, sir. Okay. Excuse me. Why is the reason that I can't go there today? No, 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 no. But this is not. No, no. This is a, this is a psychotic rumination. That as I'm throwing these, he's just getting more and more. We're done. Excuse me. A psychotic what? Rumination. This is not a psychotic rumination, sir. But this interview is last over. Last Thursday, Wednesday, last Saturday, okay. I was in my apartment. Friday, you I was in my been. apartment. You shouldn't have been. Under what reason? Because you but, think uh, I have some psychotic no, issue? No, because of what Adult Protective Service and your, and your proxy said, the apartment is not livable. But the, my proxy, I want to remove her as my proxy. Because she's not telling I you what want, you want to remove do. because she is giving no. inaccurate no. information, okay. in my opinion. All right. Okay. okay. Right. And she is not able to do the things that you think she should be able to do. Okay. I have accepted her because in the past it was a little difficult right. for me to make decisions for myself so again, I'm that we're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm ending this interview not because we are disagreeing. 
which I really, but, but because every time that we're trying to explain something, every time that we're trying to give a little bit, you're giving us reasons why it can't happen. And that's to me shows you have really no insight and judgment as to what's going on. That you have, that you, you know, that a lot of the things, like I explained, I think a lot of the things that you say have, certain, have certain validity, but you take them to, a, to an extreme where it becomes, where it becomes difficult and becomes on, 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 on workable, all right? So we have to now take a position where we have to make sure that you're in a safe environment to make sure that you get the care that you need. I hope that you do continue to work with the social worker who wants to help and with nutrition, who what I'm here is willing to work with your new, new, new nutritional needs. If you don't, and this kind of behavior continues, then we may have to yeah. consider... How do I get myself removed from this nursing home and in my apartment without all of this nonsense? Well, Tell me. A, it becomes what, uh, uh, when your medical doctor says that you're medically well, and B, working with the social worker and staff to, to expedite when your apartment Sir, is, is ready, that, then you can go back. That was a month ago that happened. That happened. What happened? A, what you just said happened a month ago. Are you medi that, that you're medically yes, involved? Yes, I was ready to leave here. Okay, I was told I was going to leave here. here. So that we simply need to work. So then we need to work with the... Now, with the can I say to one thing to you? To get them home. Can I say one thing sure. to you? In order for me to go to my apartment, I have to set up accessory. I have to do it a day in advance. And if I don't go there when they come to get me, problem. they will stop helping me. Okay. I have been very carefully preparing this every day. Today I have them coming. If I don't go and get there, they're going to cancel their willingness to help me. I don't me. feel comfortable right now with, with, going with you on. going because I don't on, know. For what? Because, because you think what that I don't. Of the apartment is, the no. apartment and is and relatively clean. And from what I'm being it's told, relatively from neat. who have been given the authority were being told that it's not. Or that it's not livable. Believe me, they would, I mean, I, I want you to go home. I think you, I think you would be much happier being home and being taken no. care of yourself. But we have to make sure that the people who've been given the authority to tell us that it's cap that uh, that the apartment is is capable of that haven't yet. So what we need. And to who do are is, these persons? Well, right now it's going to be your 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 residence proxy. What do you mean? Do you mean this person named Lorraine? Yeah. 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 Well, I I want to. How do I officially remove her as my healthcare proxy? I don't know. She's not giving accurate information. She has a picture that is her idea. She. Uh, hasn't been to the apartment often enough to know what the condition is. Okay. I've been there. I know the condition. It's much better if, than it was. If I were to ask it doesn't her, have a lot of... If I were to have, ask her to have a second meeting to come in later this week or next week so that the you, myself, the social worker, and the proxy could sit down and try and resolve this as to we could give you a time frame as to how long it's going to take to go back as to what you need to do for you to go back. Would you be willing to do that? I'd be willing to do anything, but I'm telling you that this is, you have it in the wrong order, in my opinion. Okay. The problem today is very simple. Getting the food to my apartment into the refrigerator that they have taken out of the freezer. You saw it yesterday. Okay. I have pictures of it. I have documentation of it. I saw it it needs to go into the refrigerator in my apartment. And I'm going to go there today and spend about two hours putting it in and cleaning the refrigerator. I have these list of things to do, and I'm doing them. The, the longer you take me, to, if, you, if you make it that I can't use accessorize, I can't go do anything. Well, right now, and I, nobody I, else can I do need anything. To say, I need to clarify in my mind that it's safe, what you know, to go back there and and to and to and to, and to better understand what the status of the of the apartment is before I feel comfortable. Well, the apartment was right. cleaned, was a okay. cleaning crew a week ago, and now I'm doing detail okay. work. I'm work. straightening it up. Right, I said okay. So we need to. And you're on. telling me that this ride that's coming to get me. I that think, I have to do, refuse I don't two hours in with, advance. With you going today. Sir, you have no, except for your making a statement that I'm doing these things that I'm not doing, okay. you're not correct. But you're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm hearing that you're saying that you don't think I understand what's going on in my apartment and what's going on in my life. And you're incorrect. Okay. All right. That is, that's your That's opinion. a fact. That is, that's now, opinion, let's talk about that. the facts. No, but the talking is over. He needs to go back now. Okay, so we let's can, go, Mr. So we, can, so we can talk. Let's go, Mr. No, 
Uh, I'm not going to be spoken about outside of my presence. You speak what you're going to say while I'm hearing it and while I'm recording it. Okay. No, we're not, we're not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to tell you okay. that I am not what you're saying I am. Do that I can have rolled back to the unit? Or and it's not I, based... Do I call a code blue? I, no, I, no, you don't call any code blue. This, this I, will, well, I am will do whatever you say. You can't discuss it. It's just not going to happen. I will do whatever you say. No, don't call code blue. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm asking you... To help me understand. Yeah, can we just wheel him back? He's not going to be aggressive. He just needs to wheel back. He just needs to go back to the floor. Back to the floor. All right. I'm sorry, Daddy Keith. I thought we were. I want you to know that you creating a problem for me with the accessorite that has to do with the nuts and bolts of getting me out of here. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. All right. Do you think I'm wrong? I think that is, I think you're making too much of it. We could we could speak to assessor right and, and make sure that it's all taken care of. Well, that would help. Okay. And I promise. We'll I can't. I have to set it up the we'll day in advance. All right, we'll Not we'll we'll the we'll same we'll day. We'll There's we'll their we'll rules. We'll What's we'll that, we'll that on the floor? We'll what is that on the floor? Is it mine? What is that on the floor? Is it mine? No, that's just a card. Let me see what it is. Is it one of my cards? So it's Let's bring him up, please. Thank you. I'll get your gear upstairs too, all right? Sound good? It sounds okay with me. That's it. I'm curfew until I don't know when. Perfect timing. I'll get your other stuff up to your room, all right? Yes. Here you go. Good number five, right? All right. Oh, uh, five. Go yes. Ahead. Go ahead. I press 